what is the number one piece of advice specifically for young females that are beginning their journey, but really for anybody um, that's get, getting into their career journey? Yeah, yeah. So the number one piece of advice I have for all of you, actually, I'm going to give you two. Okay. The first one is you need to be very clear about what great performance is. All right. I think one of the biggest misnomers that we have when we come out of school and we start in a career is that you know, everything in life up until this time you start your working career, you know exactly what it takes to get an A or an A plus or a hundred, right? Or if your bar is in the 80, you know, I was on scholarship at college and uh, if I got below a 3.0, actually, I think it was a 3.2, I would lose my scholarship, right? So I knew I was managing to that line, right? Like, do not let my GPA drop because it means I'd lose my scholarship, right? So, so whatever, you know, before you get to your career, you know what it takes, right? The tests, the projects, and all of this. When you get to the work environment, the rules are not in black or white, are they? All right? And performance is largely in the eye of the beholder. So if you aspire to be an extraordinary performer, if you aspire to be an area GM, if you aspire to be, you know, the highest performing um, manager you know, in your store with the great, amazing results, right? You've got to study and be clear about what's it going to take to get there. And it's not just about the what, it's about the how, and it's about the who, right? So think about who, who's the one who gives you your rating? Who's the one who measures your success? Who's the one who decides if you're on the hypo list? Who's the one who decided that you're part of this program, right? It is other people. It's not you deciding, right? So it is so important for you in every assignment project you have to know what great performance is. And if you do not know, you need to ask. You need to ask of the people who are making those decisions, right? And I learned the hard way. You know, I had a couple of early assignments in my career where I thought I was a freaking rock star, you know? And I go through the whole year, I'm thinking I'm killing it. My numbers are great. And I get to the end of the year and I get a rating, which dictated, by the way, my pay, right? My bonus. And I'd be disappointed, right? So that happened to me twice early on in my career. And I'm like, I am never letting that happen again. Now, of course, you can't entirely control it. But, you know, I, I realized that I had to take matters into my own hands in terms of holding myself accountable, holding my boss accountable, right? In a graceful way, of course, right? In a professional way. Um, right. Understanding what I aspired to be and doing the work um, and, and really understanding that performance is in the eyes of the beholder and performance is more than just your numbers, right? And so, um, and so that is my number one piece of advice for you um, throughout your career. And if you don't know where you stand, stand that's a problem, right? If you don't know where you stand, you better ask, all right? 